Welcome back, everybody. We're going to play through the third level of Batman Forever on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Let's see where we're going today. Gotham News Network Special Report. The Gotham Charity Circus at the Hippodrome has been taken over by Two-Face. We don't have many details right now. But it is believed that the master criminal has planted explosives at the top of the ring, set to explode in five minutes in an attempt to lure Batman to the site. More news as we get it. So yeah, this part's again based on a scene from the movie itself where Bruce Wayne took his psychiatrist, Dr. Chase Meridian, to the circus on a date. <laughs> I gotta fight Chuckles the Clown and Giggles. We got a time limit on this one. There's a clock here that'll add a minute to the timer. And yeah, the same thing kinda happens. Two-Face takes over the circus and plants a bomb. Take that, Cuddles. Going up here. Clowns to fight. Gotta fight Custard. Took him down. Yeah, so you gotta beat up all the clowns quickly because you're on the time limit. Just rip the one ring from Bilbo's index finger. No time like the present. The present is time. The clocks are your allies in your fight against crime. Go up here. I think I found a secret clock. The other problem with this level is it's kind of like a maze. You gotta figure out where to go. Oh, there's Chainsaw. Yeah, here's one of uh, the actual Two-Face thugs. Good kick. There we go. Got rid of Cutter. Now I gotta go up there and take out Chainsaw. go. Can I move on now? I see. You'll see that uh, rope ladder appear. That's how you progress to the next area. Fighting more clowns. One second, I want to see who's over here. Another riddle. When I'm straight, I'm not helpful. You can see what I've got. I'm always more helpful when I'm not. Yep. Take that cartwheel and bow tie. Just trying my grappling hook everywhere I can. I think I can jump up here. Yeah, here we go. I jumped into a secret area. Clown. This one's called Pebbles. There we go. That didn't work. <laughs> uh, clock. It's kind of like the clock from the bomb level in the dam in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There we go. I found a blueprint. More importantly, I got myself some more health. That's what I really wanted. Let's go beat up some more clowns. We got Nardo and Bioman. Oh, he blew a horn at me. <laughs> Love Batman's reaction to getting a horn blown in his ears. There we go. Alright, who else wants to fight? Or can I go up? Got the clock. And get up here. Anything up here I can find? Doesn't look like it. And this level's kind of like a maze and a platforming level all in one. Can I go up here? How about over here? Hmm. Let's try going down here. Here we go. Go grab the clock, and then I'll beat up the Red Hood. You're not Red Hood. And Black Hood. <laughs> right, can I 
go up now. Find what the grappling hook works. There we go, now we gotta fight Reckless the Clown. There you go. Give him a few kicks while he's behind the force wall. I like how all the clowns are wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, now I can fight. Whoa! Oh, now I can fight Muddles without worrying about his buddy Puddles. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I think I can go up in the hole they just made. Be yep. Jack here and Coco. <laughs> Bad clowns. I think I only grabbed the health. There we go. Punch out Coco in the corner. Got some more health going up there, so that's good. Which is good, because some of these clowns are really beating on me. Bats and birds can use them to fly. You may ask, why shouldn't I try? Yeah, basically that's a hint as to use the uh, glide move I've been using. Oh. Alright, you guys are getting the homing battering. <laughs> Come on. Over here, clowns. Oh, ah. <laughs> That's not good. When they knock you back down this way, you gotta go back up, and I think it resets the enemies. Which normally wouldn't be a problem, except for the fact that you're on a time limit. Like I said before, the time limit kind of... It's kind of like the one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES, where if it runs out, you get a game over no matter what. Alright, maybe it didn't, uh, reset them. Take that, Slippy. Fox isn't getting Batman off you, that's for sure. I can't go in that hole. But I can go up... nope. I see that hole up there, but yeah, the riddle told me I gotta use the cape glide. And I missed the jump I was supposed to make. <laughs> Oops. Right, luckily I'm wrong about the enemies resetting when you transition, so... There's a plus there, at least. Alright, let's attempt the glide again. This time I'll stop the glide after when the first pillar appears, and sure enough, there's Ringo the Clown. Let's beat him up. There we go. He's not hiding anything over there, so let's move up. Not get up there? Maybe I go in this hole now. No? Do I have to glide further? Eh. Does this work? Uh, there we go. There we go, I think I have to go over here. Yeah, here we go. Now we fight Bugsy. It's one of the spiked glove thugs. Strangler. There we go. <laughs> Give him a good uppercut. Any chance any health drops? Yeah. And I get another one of the uh, blueprints. All right, now we make our way back. Now I just gotta remember exactly where I go. Now we're back up here. Do I go up here now? No. I think there's one more, uh person I gotta beat up, but I can't find him. Ah, 
Ah, here we go. It's patches. You think hiding here is gonna help you? Okay, I think now I go over here. Now the new opening should be up. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's a little confusing sometimes. Just throw heist off and uppercut larceny off. Then this falls, okay. Now what? It's already over there. Here we go. Now the door up here is open. Or the hole I'm supposed to grapple up into. This should be where the bomb is. Just gotta beat up a few more clowns to get to it. No, you don't. Get behind the wall. There we go. Beat up Hooter over here. <laughs> Yeah, in the movie, uh, I don't even think Val Kilmer dressed up as Batman for the circus area. I think, uh, what happened was Dick Grayson and his parents stopped the bomb from going off. And in the movie, Dick Grayson, who becomes Robin, was played by Chris O'Donnell. Let's punch out Tango here. And Cha-Cha. <laughs> Bootsy. Beat him up. Oh. Yeah, they're both trying to get on me. Oh, he's got spiked shoes. Mungo. Well, that works. Make him fall in the hole. There's the bomb. And touching the bomb ends the level. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll be it for the third level of Batman Forever. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.